Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, we'll look at how to make your voice sound a lot better when you're live streaming. This video is brought to you by Restream, the easy way to live stream to multiple social platforms at the same time. And Restream Studio makes it easy to go live directly from your browser. Now, even though this video is sponsored, Restream is exactly what I use for my own live streaming. I use it every single week on Free Jingle Friday and really, really recommend it. Get your first month free at mrc.fm forward slash restream. That's mrc.fm forward slash restream. In this video, we're going to go through a few different options, including Restream Studio and also the gear I use like DBX to make my stream sound really good when it's going out live. You'll also see a quick solution for Mac, and I'll go into detail in this video on how to make your stream sound good in real time using PC, as PC is what I'm using to live stream using a piece of software called Voice Meter Banana. That's coming up later. First, let's start with Restream Studio. Here it is on the screen. And it's really fantastic, not only for mixing video, but also for mixing audio and making it sound great. Here in the settings cog down below on Restream Studio that allows me to stream to multiple destinations such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and more, I can click in and see all my settings. So I've got my video input, the resolution, and also I'm using my default audio input and output. But first of all, to sound better, there are some advanced settings that I'm using here in Restream Studio, including echo cancellation, which will reduce the echo when people are talking, not using headphones. So I can take that off and I could be playing the audio over speakers and it would stop all the echo coming back at me, which is brilliant. There's also noise suppression. So it reduces the background noises during your live stream. This is recommended, for instance, if you are using a stream that has, well, you've got an air conditioning unit going on, someone's mowing the lawn, or there's just stuff you really don't want to be there in the background. And finally, down here at the bottom, underneath stereo audio input, which can be used if you do have a stereo audio input going in, you've got high resolution audio. I always like to tick this in Restream Studio as that increases the audio bit rate to 256 kilobits per second, uh, which is much higher quality audio. You're going to want to have that option ticked. For instance, if you're using Restream and you're streaming out live and then you later on want to use the fantastic feature to separate out your audio track and make a podcast of the show. High quality streaming is recommended. But what about making your voice sound better before it even hits Restream Studio? Well, there are many ways to do this. Uh, and you can, well, there are one of three things that I'm going to recommend in this video. The first thing is, if you're using an analog microphone with an XLR connector going into your computer, you are going to want to look into putting a DBX286S in the middle of your microphone and eventually the audio interface that gets your mic into the computer. Now, I've done uh, many videos on the DBX286S and exact settings, which I'll link in the description down below. You might be using a Mac to stream. And if you are, you'll want to look into software from Rogue Amoeba. I've made videos on Loopback and Audio Hijack that, again, I will link in the description. In this particular video, as I'm using PC, I'm going to go over to Voice Meter Banana, uh, which can actually add some pretty cool effects to your audio and make you sound great before you even get into Restream Studio. So as you'll see, as I talk, this is my audio coming into Voice Meter Banana. And over here, these are my master section outputs. So the outputs that eventually will go into Restream Studio. And the thing I'm going to focus on here is the EQ. If I click EQ, and then bring this up. This is like an EQ curve for my voice. Now I'm gonna put this to flat. So I've got a flat line and I'll show you how to set this up in Voice Meter Banana so you get some really good sounding EQ before you even get to your live stream. So it's happening in real time using software on your computer. First and foremost, I have a icon here, which is the high pass filter. This will roll off bass. So if I go ahead and turn the frequency up to around about 120, Anything below 120 will not even be heard by the human ear. It's out of range of the human voice. So we can safely roll that off. Uh, we, can, it, we can then go ahead and move along to different frequencies here. So we want, might want to focus, for instance, on 200 hertz. And we might want to give that a little boost here to boost the bass in our voice. So it's always good to maybe increase that by a couple of dB. So you can see my settings so far. We've got a 118 hertz roll off here on the low end. 
we've increased 200 hertz by 2 dB. I might go ahead and find a frequency such as 300. Anywhere between 300 to 5,000 hertz uh, will increase the presence of our voice. Let's go bang in the middle of that, increase that by a few dB. And if I change the Q, look at this, I can make this smaller or bigger. So if I actually decrease that Q to 1.5, you see I get a nice big range there. I'm going to actually then go ahead and look at my high end. And what I'm going to do with the high end is I'm actually going to go ahead and increase it ever so slightly up here. Now, again, we can move this up a bit in frequency. We can move out the Q there. So it's really increasing the high end. And what this EQ curve that I've set up very basically is going to do for me and will do for you as well is it's rolling off bass uh, on the very low end. So any rumble, any road noise, anything like that will go. 200 hertz, the kind of boominess in your voice is slightly increased. Then the presence in your voice around 4,000 hertz is increased. And then right up at 12,000 hertz plus, we're making a, a 2.6 dB increase. And again, moving the Q down to 1.5. So we get a nice broad spectrum EQ. Uh, and then eventually, obviously, once you've set up all of those settings in voice meter, uh, you, you're going to want to go in and select as your audio input, not the default, but the voice meter aux output. That's what we've just worked on the EQ settings for. If you select that, that will then be applied in real time to your voice and make you sound better. So as you can tell from this video, there are many ways to make yourself sound better on a live stream. Number one, look at a DBX 286S. Number two, if you're a Mac user, look at software from Rogue Amoeba such as Audio Hijack and Loopback. And number three, if you're a PC user, Voice Meter Banana has some excellent EQ settings that you can apply to your voice in real time. Let me know what you're doing to sound good on a live stream in the comments down below.